Hello everybody, and welcome to the 6th devlog for The Vaporway, which is an action 3D platformer with stylings based off the 80s and 90s. And today, we're back with Oofity to learn more about the enemies and the bosses of the game and... and oh, it's that, that guy's back. BURNING HANDS! Huh? Alright, that should do it. Oh, hi there. Welcome back. At least I'm assuming this is a welcome back. If not, you should totally check out our previous devlogs. Uh, I'm Mufiti. This time not completely nuked like before. Thankfully our foe was defeated before anything could happen like last time. Foe reminds me of a word. Opponent. Opposition. Perhaps... Enemies. Which is what I'll be going over today. More specifically, how do we make them? That's right, welcome back to Yap Central. Hope you enjoyed your stay from last time. So enemies, what does it take to make an enemy? Well first, we need stats, and we need Hi. behaviors. That behavior also being known as the enemy's AI, which this AI, instead of killing artists, it just specifically kills you. Enemy stats are quite simple. It's just settings things like what is the enemy's name, how much health does it have, how much damage does it deal, how fast is it, and how much knockback does it take when you hit it. Simple stuff. Now then, the behaviors is where things get a little bit complicated. Because this is where we talk about the enemy's brain. Or I suppose the enemy's brain for most normal people out there. The enemy brain acts as a finite state machine. What is a finite state machine? You probably find out more by looking it up. The quick and dirty explanation is each behavior is attached to a state. These wow. states can range from an idle behavior, Hi, an aggro Put behavior, perhaps even a death behavior. Oh, no. The sky's the limits with what kind of states you can create. However, using this finite state machine, or enemy Brian in this instance, we're able to travel between each one of these states for the enemy's behaviors. So if certain conditions are met, we can go from idle to aggro, and if other conditions are met, we can go from aggro to dead. And then with other conditions, we can even go back in the chain of states. I don't know, from dead. I don't think you come back from that. But it's a very simple and modular system overall. And uh, that's basically it. It's just a bunch of making states and behaviors, and of course there's the models, the animations, bringing all of that up making sure the enemy's balanced and fun to fight, but that's basically the gist of how we make enemies. Now I could go into more details on how certain things are made, like how the detection system works, how a lot of other things happen. I can't let you do that, Oofity. 